Hey everyone, it's Heidi with Wild Water. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating a problem that might occur with uh, your 10 car rod. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get the Lillian section unstuck from the number two section. So if this happens to you and you are ready to pull out the sections but you cannot get the Lillian to come out of the number two section, the best remedy for doing this is to um, back the sections out of the handle and restring the Lillian up through the number two section. So what I'm gonna do, I've taken off the plug at the end of the uh, handle section so that I can see my sections. What I'm gonna do is just push these, collapse them back in, and I'm gonna replace this plug. Now, at the end of your butt section, you have a end cap right here. And this end cap actually screws on and off so that you are able to access your sections. So I'm just gonna unscrew it. And I'm going to, I'm gonna just take the handle and set it aside. But what I wanna get down to is the smallest sections. So I'm gonna take out the tip, the two and the three sections. I'm gonna pull those out so that I can work with these. For, and the first thing that I want to do is I want to pull the tip section all the way out. Okay, I want to make sure that the Lillian is nice and straight. You can see that I've got a nice and straight one here. Just rub it through your fingers. It'll, it should straighten itself out. And then what I'm going to do is I've taken the number two section out of the number three section. I'm going to take the Lillian and I'm going to feed it up through the bottom of the number two section and it should poke right out. There it goes, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is keeping my finger on the ends so that the tip doesn't fall out of the number two section. I'm gonna feed the tip in number two section up through the bottom of the number three section. Okay, so that comes out. You can see the Lillian starting to poke out there. If I tip it forward just a little bit, I can get it to come out. Okay, I'm gonna keep these all together like this. Then I'm gonna take my stack that has the remaining sections in them. You can see they're all stacked in there together. This has sections four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna take my stack that has the tip, the two, and the three. I'm gonna insert it into the middle of the number four. I'm gonna get them all to come up in there. And you can see my Lillian has come out, okay? So now I've got my Lillian free. So then I'm gonna take this entire stack of sections, <clears throat> put it back into my handle, okay? I'm gonna replace the end cap. The screws back on. And then the last thing that I want to do, just to make sure that my Lillian doesn't slip back down and get caught, so I'm going to take <clears throat> the Lillian out, just pull it out a couple inches, that number one section, and I'm just going to tie a little overhand knot in the end of the Lillian, and that'll prevent it from slipping down into the other sections. So now when you are ready to pull it out, You've got all your sections there, and that Lillian can't go any further because of that overhand knot. So as long as your Lillian is out and has an overhand knot in it, it's not gonna be able to go back down into your sections and get stuck. And you just put the plug back in, and then you're all set. If you have any other questions, you can reach us by email at contact at wildwaterflyfishing.com or give us a call, 585 nine six seven three four seven five thanks for watching